Hello and welcome to Flat Cap and a Cold One. Three quarters of a cold one. Um, so this is another anecdote or another yesteryear. Just turn that down a bit. Um, tail. <laughs> and this one is about when I was in Rill um, doing the uh, the Astra cinema projectionist with Simon, my mate. We used to work in um, well it was BMS then Motorworld. I'll get on to that in in, in further um, uh, videos. Because thanks very much. It's appreciated a lot of you are liking these anecdote videos and tales of what I used to get up to and, and what have you. So this is the one um, just a uh, tail when we were doing the Astra. The plaza was further up the high street in Rill in North Wales, seaside town in Rill, North Wales. But this one day uh, we were flying around, I think it was in late afternoon. It had three screens, the Astra, Astra 1, 2 and 3, which is three different films showing. And this, this particular day we had a child, like a children's matinee, I'm not sure what the other film was. And the third film was like a sex film, rated X in them days. That's, that's, that's where you get the X rated. Um, they were rated, is it A, double A, and then X, but now they're 15 and 18, or something like that. But anyway, the adult films were um, X rated. What film it was, I couldn't tell you. I don't remember. But I made the first projections, were running the first reels and what have you. In, you know, the, this children's matinee. I don't remember what the other one was. And this sex film. Um, it wasn't so much a violent film, but it was a sex film. I remember that. Rated X. I mean, we just got into a bit of a muddle and a panic to change the reels when, you know, the, the reel in the first projector, the first reel started running out, to kick in the second reel um, and that's where the cue marks come in um, which I have explained that in, in other videos but I may as well explain it here because a lot of my new subscribers or my new watchers to this flat cap and a cold one may not have seen. You may be interested, um, it is a bit of an interest, it's nothing like it is now you know, these modern cinemas, but in the, the old days, you'd have the old um, projectors, you used to have two of them. And the cue marks, if you ever watch, not so much an old black and white film, it's still on the old colour films, you'd be watching it. If you ever notice a, a, a ring will appear, or a dot, if you wait and watch that corner, you'll see the dot again. And what that is, that's a projectionist's cue mark. And what that is, it's for the to start the second reel. Um, at the end of the first reel, as it's coming to the end, it'll have a cue mark, which is three seconds before whatever's, whatever's on that film. Three seconds after, it'll it'll be that's the end of it, and that's the start of the second reel. If that makes sense. So what you do is. or what you would have done in them days. Load the first project projector, get it going and whatever. Well, that's playing. What you do is you load the second reel. And that's why if you ever notice these old films and this and that, you know, the old film projectors, they count down, you know, count down 10, nine, eight, it flashes, doesn't it? Seven, six, five, four, three, and then it goes blank got the two and the one then the film will start of the second reel and that's that's what it is that's a cue mark so while you're the um, or you'd get it set up beforehand I should say the second reel you'd load switch on get get the projector going and you'd watch the screen 10 9 8 and you'd wait till it goes 5 4 3 and as soon as that 3 disappeared you'd switch that projector off 
that would be set then, that would be primed. So what you do then, like I said, 3, 2, 1 is completely blank, it's black, it doesn't show nothing on the, on the screen. So what you're doing, you watch your reel, you watch it, the film running through, the projector running down, it gets very thin. So what you do then, you watch on the screen, you watch over the cue mark, you got the two projectors, you're normally in between the two. You're watching for the first cue mark. The first projector's running. You're watching for that cue mark. You know when it's about to appear because you're watching the film on the reel. So you're watching, you're ready to start the second projector. So you're there watching next bit. First cue mark. You switch on the second projector. The second projector is running, but nothing will obliterate what the first projector is showing because after the three like I said there's nothing there it's blank so then you watch it for the second cue mark three two one on this reel that's the first projector that is showing the second cue mark would kick in so you switch the first projector off and then after three two one on the second projector that's the film would start and hopefully it's just like a scene change and that's what it is, that, that's, that's a cue mark. So if you ever watch these old films, you'll see the cue mark come up in the corner. So yeah, anyway, after all that. So what happened was, this matinee, children's matinee was running, or have you, and the sex film was showing. And we got in a bit of a panic, we got in a bit, bit of a, a mix-up. And the reels we mixed up the reels um, the second projector that was showing the matinee we loaded the sex film and the re um, second projector that was showing the sex film we loaded the I don't know children's cartoon or something like that so people would be there like a, you know, watching some sex film that was going on the next bit was a scene change like a cartoon to come on or something like <laughs> going like that. But the thing is though the the, the children's matinee, some some bloody sex film came on, we'd mix the reels up. <laughs> so that didn't go down very well. So that's just an, one of the anecdotes um, of when I was in real and there are many more. Um, as I say, um, I have gone through a lot of these anecdotes when I was in BMS in Rail and what Motor World and and also my builders merchant days and things. I could literally write a book. So that's just one of the uh, anecdotes, and I'll be doing a few more because a lot of you are finding them pretty interesting, and it's all good fun. It's all a laugh. So. Fat cap and a cold one, and I'll see you in the next one.